No, I would say it's certainly, uh, it's, it's correct. The only thing is the manner that you do it. I mean, protesting against the law is absolutely fine. And the law itself is, is, is of the nature of persecution. So when I was giving the example of France, I was not, I mean, supporting the fact that they are, by, by uh, banning hijab, they are doing the right thing. What I was saying is that they are, it's like, it's a form of persecution. And similarly, in, in what Iran that they're doing is absolutely a form of persecution. But then it is the fact that uh, when you defy a law, there is always a means to defying a law. For example, uh, in such cases, you present your, your opinion to the, to the state authorities. And if they don't agree with, you, their, with your opinion, then you're ready to face the punishment, which, of course, they are in, in such cases. So this is uh, something of a... Uh, of an exception, I would say, in this case. And when they are protesting against these rights and they are not being heard, then, uh, as I said, the, they have all the right. But uh, instead of defying the ban, what the, the right path would be to, to have this activism, which, they, which is still going on, in, in which they are able to overturn the law. And I have been just recently reading that there is this movement in the, in the in Iranian uh, uh, government that they are seriously thinking of taking this back. And they think that this is not part of the public law of Islam and women should be allowed to dress the way they would like. And if they don't want to wear hijab, it's perfectly okay. So the only thing here is that the manner in which it was conducted, in which there's a lot of violence as well, that is something that we would not allow. Other than that, this is their civic right. In fact, their democratic right. But because Iran is not a democracy, it's a theocracy. So there's a rule of relig uh, a few clerics which is going on there that, uh, that creates that exception. I was speaking of a democracy in which you are able to raise your own uh, voice against the laws. In, in a theocracy or in a dictatorship, uh, of course, the dynamics would be different. But come what may, uh, you have to remain within the norms of uh, non-violent behavior. That's all. Otherwise, uh, the, the protest is absolutely correct. It's their right.